Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of detail on the PeopleNet system. Uh, those of you that have been in trucking for quite some time now and just now recently had a PeopleNet system installed into your truck, I'll be giving you a little bit of detail. I'm sure that you're going to need it just as much as the new drivers. Um, so like I said, it's going to be a brief tutorial on how to use the PeopleNet. If you find it interesting and you need further detail, just message me. But first off, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that way you get notifications when I do post new videos. And if, like I said, you need to have further detail on the PeopleNet system, just go ahead and leave me a comment. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. First off, I'd like to apologize in advance. Um, I do not have a phone mount for this phone, so the phone is going to look a little bit shaky. But I'll try to do my best to keep it centered and as not shaky as possible. So, starting off, this is going to be your company's home screen on the PeopleNet system. Mine's Tankstar Home, but it might differ depending on your company name. In order to get to the PeopleNet default screen, you're going to go ahead and select the icon in the bottom right corner titled Default Home, which is going to take you to the PeopleNet default, which is where you'll have a lot of your settings uh, internal to PeopleNet. So I'm going to stop, start from the top left and go to the right and then go to the bottom left and go to the right. So we have the message icon, the e-driver logs icon, the vehicle icon, the driver icon, the system icon, the roadside icon, the workflow icon, the navigation icon, the scanning icon, and the OER icon. So we're just going to go into a brief detail of what all these different icons do. So underneath messaging is pretty self-explanatory. This, app, this icon right here allows you to get into your messaging system to allow you to receive messages and send messages. So your inbox is where you're going to go to see both your inbox, your saved, your outbox, your sent, and your drafts. So all the messages you receive from your company, whether it be your dispatch, your terminal manager, whoever's trying to contact you, they're going to be underneath inbox. You're going to select whatever message it is that you're trying to select, and it goes Otis at the top and newest at the bottom so if you have multiple messages you're gonna have to scroll all the way to the bottom as you can see here this one come in at 859 this one come in at 901 so your most recent messages are going to be at the bottom of your your inbox so you go in you select whatever message you want to look at and you hit the the view icon down here in the middle it has the message with the magnifying glass over top of it that's going to allow you to see the details the date the time of the message and the details and the actual the body of the message in order to reply to this message say you wanted to reply to this message you would hit the reply icon when it pops up with this standard is indicating a standard message which is going to go out to everybody in your terminal personal is direct to that person so if you were trying to message solely dispatch you would hit personal and you type in the recipient's name for personal um, it's different from when you're creating an email because when you're creating an email, what's going to happen with that is you're going to select this icon in the messaging icon and it's going to allow you to create a message and say you want to go to personal, it'll automatically load your contact list and for instance dispatch, if I wanted to message dispatch, I'd hit dispatch and hit OK and it'd go ahead and let you start typing in the message. In order to get your keyboard to pop up on the screen, you're going to need to press this button the second one from the right, it's a keyboard button. It'll bring your keyboard up onto the screen, allowing you to type. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. But going back into the, the inbox icon, because there's more. So what I typically do with this, when I receive a, the load information for my first load, I go ahead and read it, and then I move it over to the saved column. In order to do that, you select whatever message it is that you want to move to the saved, once it's highlighted gray, you go ahead and hit this save icon at the bottom, and it automatically moves it over to your saved. I think that's more efficient than having all your load information in the inbox because sometimes it can be very confusing because you get a lot of load details and a lot of pages. So I'll go ahead and I'll move the first load over to the save box, and then the next load that comes in, I know it's fresh and I haven't looked at it because it's in my inbox. So since I moved that little that junk mail over into my save box, I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of my save box so in order to delete you're gonna go ahead and make sure it's the message you're trying to delete is highlighted gray and no other messages are highlighted gray and you're gonna go ahead and hit this delete icon and it's gonna ask you would you like to permanently delete this message you're gonna select yes and I'll go ahead and delete that out of your message okay so going on to outbox and sent which are pretty much the same thing 
a good rule of thumb for this box is and anything you send out to either your dispatch or terminal manager or anybody that works at your terminal you want to make sure before you delete it out of your outbox or sent you want to make sure that you do not need that information any longer for instance if your truck breaks down and you send a message to dispatch and you say your trucks broke down and later they say that they didn't receive it or that you never sent it you always have that for your own records so it's a good like i said it's a good rule of thumb to go ahead and leave that in your sitting out box until you're sure that you don't need it because it protects you and it protects everybody at your terminal and drafts is just a self-explanatory box anything that you you started to write and you didn't finish writing it'll go to your draft folders and then you can finish writing it so that's pretty much the the whole inbox icon underneath the messaging icon on the default home page so like i said we all we already went over the creating email page so creating form is going to be based off your company and the different forms that your company needs but i'm going to go over a few forms that my company uses i'm not going to go all over all of these because there's a lot of them and i want to make this video as short as possible but our form 25 is considered a check call which pretty much lets the dispatch know where we are in our in the leg of our trips so we're going to go ahead and input our freight bill information and we're going to put you know whether it be whatever leg of the trip we're on we're going to use deliver for this this uh, example so we're going to select deliver we're going to put the ETA in so we're going to put the two digit month the two digit day and the two digit year and the time stamp it's going to be military time uh, 24 hour clock and we're going to put that in there letting them know what time we, we're expecting to be there and we're going to next put in how many hours we're going to have to drive after we get to that customer and then some comments whatever the comments may be and then you hit send sometimes it pops up with uh we'll send next data call sometimes it says it'll send it now it just really depends on what the people that's filling so one more form that i'll go over is the delay call because it's kind of universal for most companies out there so our delay call form is called form 26 so in this it's pretty much the same as the the check call you're going to enter your freight bill information you're going to enter your whatever your delay to do like i said we're going to use deliver and you're going to put in what your delay is due to up here you could put in something as simple as traffic um and then you put the eta on when you expect to be there and then you put the hours you're going to have to drive um i view it as very important to go ahead and put comments down in this definitely if you're going to be delayed for something other than sleeping because you can have a delay for weather traffic you know uh an accident in traffic you want to make sure you're documenting that to protect you um because this delay call is going to go straight to corporate in most cases on uh, definitely with my company so you just want to protect yourself and make sure that they know uh it was out of your control as far as getting that load delivered on time um now like i said if you're sleeping that's a whole new story you're probably going to get written up for that there's no excuse for sleeping um make sure you have an alarm clock Like I said, I apologize for the camera moving around. So these are hotkeys right here. Um, I rarely use this hotkey button, but this just has a bunch of uh, numbers. Um, like F7, we'll go ahead and send up a check call. So I'm guessing if you hit the F7, it's going to bring up the F the 25 check call form, which it did. So I guess you have to pre-fill those uh, hotkeys with whatever you want it to be able to bring up i don't use it like i said i don't have time for it so your address book is where you can input you know different people's names for who you want to add to your email list so that way whenever you create an email you can select their name down through here you're just pretty much going to put add if you want to add somebody you're going to put their name down and their email contact and you hit submit and they're automatically loaded into your address book so you don't have to keep typing in their email address to get them a message like I said, draft saved, sent, saved, outbox, all that stuff's pretty much under inbox. It's just out there. So like I said, it was just going to be a brief tutorial. So we pretty much went over everything in the messaging box. So if y'all would like to know more information about the PeopleNet system, um, and you want me to make more videos on the other different little icons there are, then go ahead and leave a comment, um, like, subscribe, hit the bell, so that way you receive notifications when I post new videos. And I'll be happy to post new videos. Um, one of the things I think most people might need help with is how to delete messages in a mass instead of deleting one at a time. That would be a fun video. So I'll wait for um, for somebody to uh, ask for it, and then I'll, I'll create that video. Um, I'm very limited on time. As you can see, it's obviously a different day today. 
Uh, so I got a lot going on, but I, w I do want to pump out videos. Um, but I kind of want to do it as needed. Um, so I don't want to consume too much time into making videos that nobody's watching. So um, I'm going to go off the flow of my YouTube viewers um, and create more videos on that. Um, so I appreciate you watching. Um, I hope this was informative to you and I hope it helped.